Hi Danny, I wanted to uh, tell you how much I enjoy your videos and what a great job you're doing in revealing the the true nature of our universe and uh, how it's all connected with the uh, universal mind uh, that is the the mind of God uh, if, if, if you want to call it that uh, and how our minds are connected uh, into that and uh, how there is a direct correspondence uh, between uh, what we find in the heavens and how it relates to uh, to things we find and see here on earth uh, and the the whole study of hermetics uh, knowing what's in front of your face uh, is also uh, plays right into that so uh, thank you for all your your hard work I know you put a lot of work into your videos and uh, it, it shows and I just want to thank you on that uh, now what I wanted to show you was this uh, this photo of a nebula that I came across a couple of years ago that uh, reveals in startling detail the the face of a woman details like the the shading of the eyelids uh, the nose nostril lips uh, what appears to be teeth the jawline uh, neck ears I mean, it, it's really kind of extraordinary. And the first time I saw it, I, I, I thought, no way, this has got to be fake. Uh, this just just cannot be real. Uh, it's just too too perfect. And it looks like she's wearing a, an, an Egyptian goddess-style headdress. So, you know, someone had to paint that in. It had to be fake. So I, I, um, I contacted the astronomer uh, whose site I found it on. His name is uh, Stefan uh, Gossard. And he wrote me back and said no it's you know it's real it's um, shot in the hydrogen emissions line which is which reveals uh, which is primarily infrared in the infrared spectrum and uh, you know he, he assured me it was real well uh, just to double check and to make sure I found a shot of the of the sky this nebula uh, taken by a different astronomers and it shows up on a different site and it has a little different contrast to it and their names are uh, Michael Cole and Jerry Miller and they have uh, it shows the same thing all the same details are there it's their photograph was um, had a bit more contrast the black levels were a little bit deeper so I chose that to use uh, for my um, for my uh, analysis and uh, that's the one that I ended up going with and that's the one you're seeing now uh, but it is a uh, hundred percent uh, real what you're seeing the the um, so, so it's really an extraordinary uh, extraordinary image now I have um, broken down the things that I see and I'll point them out uh, point them out to you now the uh, the first thing is of course just simply the face the face is extraordinary it's it's almost a photographic uh, everything is in proportion um, you have uh, you know the 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 eyelid which is closed you can you can uh, you can almost see eyelashes the nose and nostrils uh, are uh, you know incredibly proportioned uh, the jaw where the jaw and the chin uh, is in proportion everything it's just a perfect face and then you combine that with these uh, graphic outlines of uh, the Egyptian style headdress uh, perfectly formed and fitted. There is no slop. It doesn't spiral out into some or other organic shape. It is connected directly with this face, with this head. There is no mistaking that. The other thing which I find also incredible is the the appearance of what I see as the Ankh symbol which I'll point out here is you can see it shows up as a dark sort of a dark cut uh, sort of a dark uh, outline that uh, forms the shape of the Ankh and I'll put up what an Ankh uh, looks like but it's basically a cross with a um, sort of an oval looping uh, shaped loop at the top of the cross intersecting at, uh, at, at everything intersects at the center and that uh, that is of course the uh, Egyptian symbol of eternal life and that uh, you can clearly see uh, is present in this nebula in the, in the cloud that's behind uh, her head 
those two elements together, the Egyptian style headdress connected very, very perfectly to this head. And then we also see the Egyptian Ankh etched out almost sort of almost graffiti style uh, etched in these clouds. Those two together like really support each other in uh, that they that they have an Egyptian connection. Uh, the the other element, which is perhaps even most important, is this uh, mysterious near perfect lifesaver shaped ring that uh, is uh, it intersects the right at the front of her mouth and nostrils. And if we look close enough we can see that this coming from this ring appears to be what looks like a, a, a form of radiation that is radiating out in um, from her uh, I mean f from this disc and it looks like she like from her expression it looks like she's taking this energy in like she's breathing it in literally breathing this energy in uh, through her nostrils and the mouth and you can also see what looks like exhale coming from the uh, coming from her mouth and it, you can see the these lines uh, coming which look like exhale it comes from the mouth it is it is in a different direction than the lines of radiation that come from the disc uh, so you know, in, in just sort of thinking about, well, gee, what, you know, if just taking the Egyptian theme uh, literally and to a conclusion, uh, in the Egyptian theology, they state that the, uh, that the gods will uh, place the, the Ankh, or seen holding the Ankh to the lips and nostrils of uh, a, the deceased in order to give them the breath of life that they need in the afterlife. Well, uh, what if this instead? What if the symbol is is merely the symbol? It's a symbol, but this disc is actually the actual mechanism. It's the actual delivery mechanism for delivering this um, this energy needed to sustain someone or someone's mind, someone's spirit, uh, you know, through eternity. And this is the this is what this ring is providing. At any rate, it's uh, you know that's just a speculation, just a, a, a theory of mine. But um, but it's interesting because there's definitely an interaction going on. This is not just simply and the way that where it's placed is uh, it's almost like a respirator has been placed right at the you know where it would need to be if you uh, wanted to keep someone alive. Um, you know so it. The whole thing plays an, ex an extraordinary um, picture. Now, I'm going to overlay the visible light uh, spectrum. Now, this was taken with the Hubble, and uh, it's I, if I had more of it, this is all I had because the Hubble is actually um, it, it it it's, it's a powerful telescope, so it, it, it it's going to crop in uh, more than than this uh, this the entire nebula. Uh, this region of the ne of of this nebula is called the Eagle Nebula. That's what NASA has called it. It's the Eagle Nebula, and um, it features very prominent uh, star birthing columns that um, that was uh, uh, featured actually on the I think the cover of Time magazine at one point. Now, what's interesting when we look at the visible light spectrum, we see. The uh, and again, this is like kind of like looking at an like at an X-ray. It's uh, you no, know, we're by going from infrared to just visible light. That um, the invisible part, which is the hydrogen, which is the lightest element, uh, which could be seen as her skin because it's 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 the lighter part. It's going to be the, the the most abundant and um, has to be seen with the in, through the infrared. That's where we see the whole the whole picture of the of the face comes in. When we switch to the visible light, it, it sort of starts to look more like, like we're looking through the body of the face, and now we're looking into the um, the core of the uh, of the nebula, which now we can see there it still correlates. There's still a direct correlation to a real head, 
we see a um, right at the opposite the mouth where the mouth cavity appears well there is a mouth there is a cavity just like we just like we have in our skulls and not only that there is a tongue uh, which is uh, NASA has described as a star birthing column so we have this uh, formation which which uh, corresponds to a tongue exactly where it should be if it were a human head we also have we can also see uh, denser gases which form a you can see start to form a a jaw and this uh, where you see the front of the jaw uh, right at the end where the chin is uh, that is naturally formed I did not uh, shape that in any way to form a jawline that is natural uh, now the, you can see the the um, right here at the bottom there's a, a diagonal cut that is the bottom of the frame that's where it ends in uh, where it shows up in the uh, Hubble that that's all that's all I had I was uh, so I had I had to work with with um, with what I had available to me but that curve part of the jaw that is naturally occurring I did not touch that at all and you can see it it's striking I mean it is this like when I see this uh, it it it's like it's the it's and it this is denser uh, material no longer are we looking at hydrogen and now we're looking at much denser gases much denser uh, molecular uh, compositions uh, much heavier heavier um, elements are at play here so and that would correspond to a jaw which is you know our bones are much heavier and the fact that it's in perfect shape especially the chin is is to me extraordinary and we also see what could right here uh, coming up from the jaw it looks like a tooth I mean it looks like a, a tooth could be coming in so it is uh, there's an extraordinary uh, correspondence to a, an actual uh, living human head that we find from uh, not only from the, the surface from the skin from the hydrogen view but all the way down into the core of this nebula uh, so th just overall I find this 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 uh, an extraordinary image and an, ex and an extraordinary example of correspondence uh, thank you again for all your hard work I hope uh, you find this uh, interesting as well because I think it plays right into in line with what your um, what your work is about and uh, anyway I hope you're able to to pull something else from this and um, and uh, you know use it in good health Danny take care and I look forward to your other videos